Go ahead and ring the ball. No, um, I can wait. Britt just pulled up too. Oh, okay, gotcha. Wait, 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 wait. Let me back it up. Back it up. <laughs> Good morning. Um, welcome to another vlog. If you are new to my channel, my name is Brie Renee Shay from the A. Please don't ever forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a vlog, my Miami Monday, and all the good content that I be bringing y'all. Y'all know I don't have no problem coming on here looking crazy. Okay, and that's what I'm doing. So it is day one of Revolt Worlds, Friday, it's 9 a.m., just getting into the studio. We have meetings today, and me and Tori are DJ, Tori is DJing, I'm hosting the concert tonight, Money Bag, yo, Juvenile, and Manny Fresh, there's gonna be other people there as well, but yeah. I wore my outfit, Brid. Yes, we're matching. And we're vlogging. Vlogging. It's the girls for me. Because <laughs> I wanted us to have it on so we could take So you just wanted to look like the same in the meeting? Yeah, but Wait, are you, you wearing this today? Oh. I, I have to. Not, not, I'm not wearing this on stage, but I'm wearing it like in glam. Oh, and well, come on, just don't wear it. Yeah, take a video. Say, yeah. 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 Wait, get us some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, just, we just finished our room real quick, ladies. Come. No, 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 so we just finished our meeting. Now I gotta go to Glam, cause you see I'm looking like Mrs. Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Frizzle. About to be all up in your body. Like a 12 gauge shoddy. Frap, frap, frap. Akila got on her Revolt World shirt. Yes. yes. <laughs> the girls. Oh, the soap timer's on. Oh. <laughs> and the lens, and the lens, and the lens. Girl, let's get on, hold on. What are we doing here? The oh, yeah, she wanted to take a picture because we match it. into my office and they gave us some goodie bags let's see what's in here this is super cute protect black women oh i think this is a purse i've been seeing these purses cute so cute and mini protect black women period cute little purse you can take to the club there is no question when it comes to who you are, it's time to shine. Or well, who you are, it's time to show the world at Revolt World that you've been a star. Oh, your PR team, so cute. So sweet. Little hat, little bucket. Oh, y'all know I love me some unjackies. This is what I really use in my hair, too. Mm -hmm. Come on, black hair care. Some hair mayonnaise. Unjackies elixir. Yep, some hair oil. Diva Curl, Mist of Wonder is leaving. Okay, we need this for the curly hair. Never tried that. I be hearing good things about Diva Curl though. Dry No Poo. It's probably like, kind of like dry shampoo. What's this? Okay, come on, Malcolm X icon. Malcolm X shirt. Cute little makeup bag. Can never have too many of those. Red hair cream. Leave-in conditioner. Can never have too much leave-in. Some red hair gel. 
Sakura Capture Capturing Gloss. They got a lot of goodies in here. Red hair oil. This lipstick. Lip lip I think that's some lipstick I see. Oh yeah, lip gloss. Nice little neutral. More lip stuff. A lip balm and a lip stick. Okay, that's cute. Let me see the lipstick. Okay, a little brown. So yeah, that's cute. Let's see what's in this other box. But thank you, Rebo. That's so cute. So cute. You see, I just got some with glam. They got my hair twisted up so it can continue to dry. Oh, it's a braid box. What's in the braid box? Everything you need to maintain your braids. Okay. Some fat braid in here. You can never have too much. Okay, period. Something for the edges. Braid in here. An edge brush. Whipped shea butter for your hair like moisturizer. Edge control. Oh, braid shampoo. I never heard of that before. Braid shampoo. So this is cute. Thank you, Revo. I got a whole little, whole little set. A little edge. Show what we get your hair braided. One thing black women care about is our hair, okay? So they knew to give us something to do with some hair. I love that. Let me get dressed and I'll show y'all the outfit for today. Okay, we are getting ready to head out. We got Trisha. It was a little blurry. There we go. Remote world, baby. Remote world, we on the way. Me and Tori headed there. Get a little cute little fit check. You feel me? I got on my sneakers for now, but then I got my boots. Tori always got something going on. <laughs> yes, y'all. We look so cute on the yes, way. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We kind of twinning with our curly hair. Always twinning. It's always something twinning. with the vibe. We're going to be planning it, okay? Thank you. Hello. Hi. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Going to sound trip. In your feelings. Hey, cutie. Everything that's on me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> How are you? Okay, so we in my little dressing room with the team. Like, look, she like, I'm in the background snacking. We just got to eat it. What up, baby? About to take our shots. Let's turn up. We got that daily on. You know, it's not a party without daily on, baby. So we got that. Just got some food on my stomach. Just finished sound check. And we're about to get lit. Then we're going to do some interviews. And then, shoot, sure, it'll be just about showtime after the interview. All right. So we're rocking. Oh, man. I think I might keep these heels on. I mean, these. I'm feeling that for tonight. I'm definitely feeling these. So I can I'm bounce them out. Six inches for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Because you need to hop around. It's 360. There's no way. Mm -hmm. I'm naturally like a. You rap when you don't say. Yeah, I'm, I'm really a rapper. She, I'm really a rapper. I just think I'm the bars. I'll be like, I don't hear y'all. I said, what's so great to you? Yeah. Rick is really frustrating. I'm like, I'm outside of the club. I don't think I'm. That's how I was at No For Sure. It was like, is this, are we talking about God? Or what, healing and growing? Or are you just praising the Lord? Oh. Yeah, that's me all day. So I'm going to keep these sneakers on. Yeah. They work. Thank God I wore them this morning. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the vibes. Hi guys. So welcome to my channel. What's the name of my channel? Just Brie Renee. Mm-hmm. Brie Renee. Hey, Take over. Oh, yes. Thank you. Know, girl, 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 girl. Girl. Come on, we <laughs>
Yeah, that's why I look. I already told them this was my channel. Touch the bottle. Touch the bottle. Touch the bottle. Smack it on the booty. Smack it on the booty. Smack it on the booty. 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 That big old booty. Booty. You gotta touch it. No, you gotta leave your hand on it. Touch it. Yeah, the hand on it. It's something in his. I'm mixing it with a little Celsius because. You gonna need a little energy? I got you. Yeah, you got it. Which one, orange or what? I just, you just mix it. Yeah, I'm about to pour these up. Don't nobody make a drink better than me. Okay. Oh, let me get my girl making her drink on. Oh, shot. Which camera did you get? Um, that's my old one because my new one had got stole. But it still worked really good. It's a Ken, it's a Canon G7X. Mark two. So that's the regular one. I had the Mark II, but that's the one that got stolen. I wanted something. Why wrong with it? Trust me, you got to you, you, you didn't mess up my shot. I was trying to go into the cup. <laughs> she moved the damn cup. I was like, what is she doing with the People be like, dang, what you shoot your vlog on in my comments? Yeah, because it be clear. It be clear. It's no. that one. And that's, I'm surprised because this is my old one. I had the Mark II. This is the regular one, so it still works. This is vlogger Shatika Leggett, also Arthur. Let them know. Okay, master's degree, AKA, and bad. I would say the B word, but I'ma respect my queen. <laughs> a little, a little sweet for the shit there. Okay, so cheers, y'all, to an amazing remote world weekend. We about to turn up. Toy breaks on the DJ booth, and Brie Renee on the mic. It's a party. Okay, let's go. Cheers. Ew. That's not bad. No, it ain't bad. You're a great bartender. I am. I used to get paid for this. Okay. Time to put our lipstick on and we're going to do an interview. We're coming to check out Los. We got VIP access. Well, 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 Mr. Miller. Hey, what's up? 18, 17, 16, 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, so two, dark. Three, two, and one. You and Carlos on stage. Let's go, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see my man on stage. <laughs> They catch you with your phone. They won't go your camera phone and read your business. I need to be the one on the Y'all do all the drinking and shit. At. <laughs> that's that's how it be. I am the responsible. Oh, really? If you're not invited to read the room, I mean, that's where it go down. Okay. Oh, really? That's where. It I might have to stop by then because it sounds like you got a lot going on that Just I don't a lot know about. Of a little, that's a little bit of a lot. It's a little bit of a lot. You look good. Oh, thank you. You see, look like, chill. I was going to wear heels, but it's giving sneakers. Nothing too much. I was behind my jacket until I felt like it was. Oh, Is it cold out here or something? No, it's hot. It must be chilly. You ain't cold? No, I see my man. <laughs> That's why. Come on, I get excited. I'm excited. This is our first time working together. Okay. Heard that. Y'all, we have a mini crisis. Just a mini one. So. Okay, we're about to. Uh, we're My lash is lifting. I'm about to go on stage in like 10 minutes. So we gotta fix it. So we came to the hair and makeup. Perfect, thank you. So we got eyelash glue being rushed on the scene like an emergency. Like a firefighter truck. <laughs> All that for eyelash. Tori's at the stage doing sound check. Wardrobe just pulled up. They in the cut. 
Me and you both gonna fall. <laughs> the lash is fixed. Seven minutes till showtime. What up, though? So, girl, are you feeling good? good? Tori's already a sound check. It is day two of Remote World and I'm headed to the stages. Well, I'm in the Uber now, headed to the venue. Just left our office, just left glam, hair, makeup, everything. I just kept the hair the same because it's so hot yesterday. 
Woo, it was hot. So today I'm wearing this cute little dress and I got on my sneakers because all that walking yesterday was killing my feet. Baby, I had on sneakers and my feet was hurting. My knees was hurting, everything. I said, oh, auntie getting old, baby. Auntie getting old, all this standing and walking. But it's gonna be a great day. We are, if I could just make it through today, I am halfway through this crazy work weekend. Cause I still got Sunday and Monday, but we gonna make it through. So let's go, day two. Because we about to hook some people up with a, a brand new podcast deal today. Y'all ready for that? Give it up. Okay, well, I would like to introduce y'all to another one of the hosts and a judge for today. We have the GM and founder of Revolt Podcast Network, Mr. Aki Gary. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Super excited to have everybody here. Um, just want to give you guys a little bit of background and information around the podcast network. So about a year ago, we had the idea to start a podcast network to help black and brown creators. No, yeah, we, we need to make podcast equipment more expensive. So, so way too many niggas with podcasts right now, but I'm excited. Girl, I'm coming to Young and Dumb is because I'm like, we need help. We need help in our community. And, a, and the thing is, a lot of times we see the LeBron James, right? We see the Ice Spice, and y'all probably like, all right, how, I can't look up to that. It's day three, come here, Keila. It's day three of Revolt World, and today is the big day, BGS big Live. Day. Live show. How you feeling? Feeling great, feeling like we about to do this thing. Feeling like black love, okay? <laughs> we about, about to restore black love. We about to restore community. it. After this, y'all have the answers. Don't ask us again. Right. <laughs> Britt, how you feeling over here, girl? Mm -hmm. Looking like a queen. Ooh, I'm excited. It's my first live Ooh, show. Oh, yes, Bob. I'm just being contemplative right now, reflecting. Come on, contemplative. I'm excited to be with the girls, and I think we're going to bring good energy, and I think the crowd going to Period. And that's just on black girl stuff. <laughs> Sorry, don't look at me, but just tell me, how are you feeling today? Feeling good. Ready to get out there and do a little to a big. Well, you looking good. I'm looking good. Y'all see this beat? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, when I get to the light, I can see it. That's pretty. Cat, look, cat situation. Okay, your girl is dressed and ready. Let me turn this on. Oh, you see the beat. About to have us. We about to head to the um the venue right now. Load up in the car. So we keep it here in place, you know. So I can give that. She a bella. She a rebel. So yep. Boom. Here is. I'm wearing these slides so I get there. So my feet don't hurt. They got wardrobe has my heels. Hair is pressed, honey. Given. Done. Ladies, let's roll. We're loaded up. What you get in the front? I got it. Put air in the whole glam team. This is printer. Okay, guys, we're loaded. I'm reloaded. We ready to go to Revolt World. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be. I'm good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this air that turns it down. Cool. Y'all want the fan up or high? Copy. This is how I think it'll go right now. We'll make it look Hello? Inside. I got you. And, uh, okay. So, we're ready. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Y'all can touch and release it. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. Yeah, we got to let it go. 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 Let it Humble as always, thanking you for all the gifts and talent that you have blessed every single one of us in this fam with. We know that it takes a team to pull together an event like this. So we're so grateful for the team, the talent, yes. the, the coordinators, the, all the way from Belina to Tristan to 
wardrobe, hair, makeup, every single person that it took to pull this together. We thank you for them. We thank you for their gifts. We ask that today you, you grace us with your presence, that you fill us up with you so that when we take that stage, they hear you, they see you. They, we edify you with our gifts and our talents. We let them know that through mending these relationships, somehow they are still brought back to you at the end of the day. We want to lead you, guide our tongues, guide our words, guide our thoughts, and guide our actions. You help us to control the energy in this room, to let them see the blessings that Black Girl Stuff has to offer and how we can change the narrative and the culture in our situations. Father God, we thank you for all that you do every day. Blessings that we receive that have yet to receive, Father God. Thank you for all that you're doing, all the doors that you're opening for us. We don't know who is in this room, but we know that the right ears are going to hear what we have to say and the right eyes are going to see it, Father God. This is going to be a blessing to each and every one of us. Like I said, from not just us as talent and them seeing what we have to offer and giving us new opportunities all the way down to who did her hair, who did her makeup, who put this outfit okay. together. We want all of the gifts and all of our talents to glorify you so that we can continue to be blessed and live our show with you. Anybody want to add anything? Amen. 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 No, they had to leave because they had other stuff. They thought it was earlier. Well, so they left. They didn't even get to see me. It was here. Oh, they'll see you for sure. I know. No, I appreciate them coming. My mama didn't come. Nobody came. No Mom, let me do one more later. Mm -hmm. It's like your ass is right. We right down the street from your house. Get your ass up and come over here. No. Mama, you don't want to do it. It's a lot. Mom, yeah. Mom. Well, y'all, it's damn near eight o'clock, and we still ain't went on stage. It's I'm still here. For I'm. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay. Ready and cut. I'm. I'm. I'm still here. Four hours later. Okay. We haven't even touched the stage, but. They doing our touch ups now. I don't took me. I'm I'm actually not mad at it because I did take an hour nap and I needed that baby. Cause you know when I get sleepy, I get grumpy. So I got me a good nap. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm refreshed. They getting my hair, and makeup, make rejuvenated and refreshed, and we ready to go. Home. It's eight o'clock right now. I think seven fifty, and I think we're supposed to hit the stage at eight thirty ish. Man, Tori took a bet. <laughs> she won her $20. I bet her. I thought it was 50. <laughs> thought it was no, babe. The way inflation is going, she gets 20. We oh. we did a bet about what time we was going to start. I said we was going to be on stage at 8. She said we was going to be on stage at 9. I feel like if we get at 8.30, we both owe each other $10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's canceling out, huh? Right. Both in. All right. No, but she probably gonna win. It is looking like a nine o'clock show start. But I said that's a good thing because we are we a late night show and they had to say the best for last. So this is just show business. The hurry up and wait. The hurry up and wait, child. <sighs> Thank you, Glam. Shout out to Centuria for being and my face. Right. Dante Savoy on the hair. They always keep me laid. Yeah. And then in the wardrobe, it's cute. It's not my fashion over fit. Give it to her. And then y'all just sponsor us. Tag fashion over under this video. Let them know. You seen him okay. on Black Girl Story. Period. Mm -hmm. With the podcast, all the main ones. Yeah, I'm blocking it. Right there, the podcast. It wasn't good. No, our, we haven't did ours yet. Yeah, I thought you were talking about podcast pitch yesterday. Yeah. 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 You know I'm a rapper in my head. Thank you, man. She is red and she don't want to ski. She was like, she was like, she like, she was 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 like,
example of somebody making more and still have She's love. She's bringing up Rihanna. Wait, let's hear what Joey said. Joey said. No, 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 what I was gonna say, I just wanna ask a question. Tori, why do you think they're not married yet? That might be her, why Oprah not married yet? A so lot of times people don't want titles because they feel like it may not work out, but that's her situation. I don't know what is going on in this situation. Though. Who says they ain't gonna be married though? First of all, first, first, said they first ain't of gonna all, be married. I just asked why all, they ain't married yet. They ain't gonna be happy as fuck. We gotta bring it, we gotta bring it back to y'all. Cause y'all trying to divert to Rihanna right. and ASAP. And it's you, Joey Badass, that we trying to get, we trying to get more than a no out of. So what do you mean in terms of like, can you, can you be with I somebody mean, if you are? I just think it goes too? back to what Key said. You okay. know what I'm saying? I think like no man truly is gonna respect themselves after a large period of time of them not being able to provide something to bring something to the table to take care of their woman. Like, I, I agree, I feel like, you know, the roles will switch up every now and again. I think 50% 50, 50 is something that's very unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a different percentage. Like, yo, babe, I only got 10% today. I only got 20% today. Or you know what, I got 100 today. Like, I, I even like what Key said, we gotta be 100, 100 all the time, for real. You know what I'm saying? But the re the reality is that's not the case most of the time. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I stand. I, I feel like long term, like no woman is gonna take care of a man for ten years. Until we marry. Yeah, yeah, period. <laughs> period. But in terms of in terms of being single, in terms of being like, you know, being in these spaces where the more you're up and up and up, you're I'm meeting less black men that are besides y'all here, but a lot of black men that are very much like on the same pathway. So I do feel like I run into those situations a lot of times where I'm dating or I'm seeing people and then it's more so about like, okay, now that I know you can do for your own, you're kind of you building your own house, so to speak, I'm less likely to jump into that level of not even necessarily trying to save you, but at least trying to show you that I can do it too. I find I find myself oftentimes in positions where I have to, you know, just just really Pro. inch it out of a man, oppose, like, you know, for, for, to give them the give them the ability or give them the, the openness to say, hey, I can provide for you. You got the same morals, values, and you don't know how to take what's in your mind and bring it out into the world and utilize your willpower and your real power. Ain't no way we equally yoked, right? Because you're measuring yourself by a European system. Measure yourself by Afro-Asiatic system, go. Go. right? Measure yourself by who you are and your spirit. Now you start to tap in with each other for different reasons, right? A lot of women have found men with money, but they have no morals, yeah. right? So they ain't treat them like shit. So when you find a man that knows how to utilize his mind, now you're seeing a guy, now he needs a woman because he got a vision. I mean, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I feel like, listen, first of all, to when each his own, I can't speak for nobody. But again, it's, 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 it's about like, do you like to gamble? Do you feel lucky? You know what I'm saying? Are you the type of nigga that goes to the crap table? If you really want to gamble it, you see what I'm saying? Then I guess you, I guess you can be in love and cheat. If you really don't, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like, if you feel lucky, I guess. But again, you know, what what is it? You know, what, is the risk worth the reward? Is kind of what the conversation gets into you, or, or, or like gets into. You know what I mean? Quincy was gonna say something real quick. Reward. I just want to get. You know, backpacking off what he said, because then like, what is love? You know, what I mean, are we at that love? For real. You know what I mean? Point to really establish a relationship to where yeah. I'm not even entertaining anything else because of where I'm at physically, spiritually, with you. So I feel like that really has to be at that point before you just consider. And I feel like there's a, there's a certain emotional IQ that comes with it. If you're not ready to live that life, then, then you're gonna, you gonna, you know, live, live life in the, in the, in the, you know, in the gutter and do, do what, what gutter is. And, and not to cut you off, Bree, but today before I came on, I was looking because I said, let me, I was trying to find a video on YouTube about you know, what makes a man faithful and what keeps him. And I can barely find one video. Crazy. But when you put on the opposite, right, then you find millions. So all we know is the problem. Yeah. When we grew up and we looked at our parents' relationship, we didn't see healthy relationship. That's all we know and see. So that becomes a narrative that we play out. So we play these roles that we get programmed to see. When we look at media and the shows, they don't show it, so you don't get to see it. So if you don't see it, then there's a lot of times for, for us, if we don't have it in the mind, we can't produce it in reality. So that's why instead of the triggers, we have to create glimmers. Triggers are things that make us feel unsafe. Oh, yeah. Cheated, and if y'all did, like how did y'all heal or grow past that phase in y'all life? Have you ever cheated? I have. Yeah? I have. Okay. I got to what? Conversation done. Yes. Everybody nah. cheated. No, it's not. At some point in their no, life, everybody cheated. Emotional. I think that emotional cheating is the worst. Me too. Because I feel like 
when no, people no, emotionally no, cheat, no, you're connecting with a person on a mental no, level no, and you're getting in their no, brain. It's just no, different. No, I feel like people no, think that that's no, not cheating. No, and no, I'm no, having this conversation, so it's not cheating. But when you're in somebody's mind and you're in their spirit and you're connecting with them, non physical contact, it's just different. Like, nah, that's And it's going to lead to physical. It's only a matter of time. I mean, that's the next step. For sure. It's just the same question, I think. For real. No, because sometimes people have physical situations, but it's like, Lil still wham cheating. bam, thank you ma'am. You feel still me? Cheating. It's still cheating. Well, I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm saying that like, it's sometimes it's a wham bam, thank you ma'am, that's cheating. And it's sometimes a, oh, I'ma send you flowers. I'ma buy you this and that, uh, 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 because what, what, why? Cause now you courting this bitch. That. You know what I'm that. saying? Like that's different. It's an it's intimacy. Like when y'all feel when women cheat, we have an emotional tie to somebody. That's why men can't handle it when women cheat. You know what I'm saying? So for a man, if it's physical, it's physical. But when he get emotionally involved, he start calling her, talking about good morning and all that. You buying? No. What we doing? Cause now I don't even feel special. Cause now we getting the same. What, what's going on? No, hell no. I think men answer that. Answer that. Cause I, I heard that a ton times over that men can't take it when women cheat. Can they or can they not? No, Have y'all ever seen what a woman after she cheated on y'all? Right. I grew up in a household full of women, right? Grew up, so it's like I went through a lot of conversation, a lot of knowledge, gaining, you know, and it was. Let's rephrase that. that. Can women have sex without an emotional connection yes. when they're in a relationship? Yes! No, I, I can't. I, I, I have sex right there. Right, yeah. <laughs> I think, I, 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 think, I, mean, I think it's just common sense, you know what I mean? We don't want to share, right? And then, you know, and I, and I get it, I mean, but you're asking why. We're not asking why is it a double standard, right? The question is why, right? Why nobody wants it, right? And I don't think that it's just, it's, the, the, what you're really asking is why is it a double standard on you? Right. right? Well, a woman would take a man back and a woman, man may not take a woman back. Right? That's the real question because everybody knows why they feel a certain way once they feel betrayed. Right? And so for men, we feel it different. See, it's not something you just have with your partner, right? Intimacy is something you have in all relationships. Facts. Right? So whether it's family, whether it's friends, right? Whether it's somebody that you're actually in a sexual relationship with, it's that close bonding connection. Right? So, you know, sex is a completely different layer than intimacy because intimacy doesn't have to involve lust. I love that. Now we have Kennedy Rue, one of our co-hosts that is technically a Gen Z. And I want to know what do you or how do you guys view intimacy? Now I'm making Because I'm a millennial. So I'm like, what y'all young folks talking well. about? <laughs> so, so what's Gen Z classified? Like you after 1999? Yes. Yeah, kind of. Well, what's your birthday? The early 2000s. I like Oh, okay. So she's right at the end and mix of millennial and Gen Z. No, but I feel like our age group, like, we've kind of adopted a new form of relationship, which, like, we call, like, situationships. And I don't know if you guys can kind of, like, relate to that, but, like, it's sometimes being in almost, like, what looks like a relationship, but you don't have that title. So we're not boyfriend and girlfriend, but we date exclusively, we go out, like whatever, whatever it is. But I feel like that has kind of like usurped the whole like, let's be exclusive and call this boyfriend and girlfriend thing. I think for my age group. So I feel like a lot of us find ourselves like in these situations that kind of drag out longer than they should because you're not having all those conversations that you would if you were actually pursuing a relationship. Like if I was like, listen, I want to be in something serious. I want something committed. You know, these are my vetting processes for that. In a situation, you're more so like, I'm going to flow. So whatever happens, happens. However much time we spend is however much time we spend. But I feel like that's pretty much what our generation's kind of on. Yeah. That's Nothing. crazy. It sounds good. It turned into yeah, yeah, yeah. Into, oh, into yeah, intimacy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, if you aren't just having sex, right, it'll eventually evolve into something. If okay. That doesn't, you know what I mean? You talk about that. Yeah. No, that's true. But intimacy is just more than physical. It's emotional. You know that's what I'm saying. The more you have sex with somebody, you probably don't do more with them. You might spiritually give me a rock. No <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can have conversation with somebody, be intellectual. Right after the highest rates of single parent homes 
and now that's just being perpetuated through the culture, through the music, through the language, through the imaging and everything that we see every day. So it's just really a lack of understanding of what it means to unify and come together to build to the greater thing. I wanted to ask, because Kennedy brought it up when she we were talking about her generation Gen Zs and the, the next, even the next wave, and we talk about situationships. Who do y'all think benefits more from a situationship, men or women? I guess it depends on the situation. <laughs> I can't break it down. down. See, that situationship kind of title covers so much. And I feel like y'all took the lazy route, Gen Z, in creating that, you feel me? I feel like y'all could have defined it well, I think that's the, the beauty of, of it is that it is undefined. Because that's what it is. Undefined. You marry more? You think no. men do? Let's ask. I don't think so. I mean, I feel like, I feel like for men, I feel like, you know, when once we mature to a certain level, we want that. Like, we see the value in building with a woman. Like, you would never see a man say, I don't need a woman. But you see a lot of women every day say they don't need a man. <laughs> they don't mean too. that though. Women are saying that because all women want to get married. That was the end goal. We all want families as women. I think that women kind of got discouraged, like he said, like we don't trust it. So it's kind of like in defense, it's like well, we don't got to be married, we don't get our own money. But it's not that we don't want to get married, it's just that we don't trust it. It's like we see so many people that were married getting divorces. We see all this stuff, it's like, you almost gotta prove to us that a man can't be faithful these days. Because it's almost like magic, you gotta show us. Let or, me ask you something though, what, what is magic? I mean, is that magic may exist, I gotta see it. She said I gotta show see it. We get older, let's say we in a relationship for 16 years, let's say 10, 10, six years, whatever. You in that, you in that relationship, you getting older. This man can still go date a 21, 23 year old. You done lost a lot of time in your life. You done made a nest and everything. Y'all can start over a little bit easier than we can once we get older. We done wasted that time. Imagine getting married, you gotta chase somebody down to sign divorce papers. Well, it's a contract that I feel like women wanna get in, but if it's believable, if it's faith in it, and well, if y'all equally yoke and have the same morals and you feel like it's gonna work, you don't want to just jump in it and get a divorce. Nobody want to do it. So, by, so a... by, your, by that logic, are you saying that women don't trust biology? So no, we don't trust me. Ha, ha, ha. So, yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> say that all women want to get married. I think back to what we said is how you're raised, what you're taught in the household. And again, we are battling a lot of things that are systematic, that are uh, have been ingrained in us to oppress us. So I'm going to be completely transparent. Growing up in an LGBTQ household with two black women, I never thought about getting married. I never I never cared about it because I was taught as a black from a successful black woman, hey, you need to be able to survive. You need to be able to take care of yourself. No one is coming to save you. There is no man on a white horse that's coming. So growing up, I was taught, let me get my degree, let me go to let me provide for myself, let me make sure I'm good regardless. So being married was never even in my viewpoint until I got older. Like you said, that biology kicks in. And naturally, now I'm like, well, now I want a partner. Now I want kids. I don't want to be a baby mother. I want a real family. So that's when it starts to kick in. So I think that, again, we are battling the things that we've been conditioned with and, and wrongly programmed with. No, that's so true, Bree. I agree. But let's be real, real quick before Keys, you jump in. And I want some of you guys to talk about it too. I think a lot of people start to misrepresent themselves from day one and a lot of people can fake the funk for years. So you're saying not to jump into something but you a lot of times don't even know what you're jumping to. We're saying we want to get to marriage, we want to get to the wedding but we're not really talking about the person. A lot of times well, it's been a really great topic. Thank y'all so much Quincy, Tyler, 19 Keys, Joey. Y'all have been amazing. Y'all give it up for the fellas. <laughs> Storm black love out there, y'all. It's not over 9 p.m. Okay, and you can always download the Revolt TV app and watch it live next day for free, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all, Kings. Thank y'all for joining us on Black Girl Stuff.
Boat World Weekend, guys. That's a wrap. We killed it. Day yeah. one. Day That's two. Now. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Round three. Fight. We killed it, okay? <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this vlog. If you have not already done so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can go to all these lit ass events with me, okay? Till next time. Yeah. Love you, Breezy coming. Babies. Y'all coming up?